You already know, man. It's your favorite guy. I'm tapped in with my twin, man. We're doing it live. No surprise. Shot the hood saviors. They can't forget DJ Montana, man. The infamous guys, man. We're going. Why you left me out here all alone? I said, baby, one more chance. One more chance. One more chance. Baby. One more chance, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance, baby, give me one more chance, one more chance, one more chance, baby, won't you give me one more? I was your man, I used to hold your hand, you were my best friend, you give me one more chance, I thought we'd never end. Oh, you should have my last name Girl, quit playing games Give me Girl, I need you back Why you do me like that? Why you do me like that? Give me one more chance Do you hear what I'm saying? Girl, I ain't playing Girl, I ain't playing Give me one more chance One more chance One more chance Baby, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance. Baby, won't you give me one more chance, one more chance. Baby, won't you give me one more chance, one more chance. Give me one more chance. Girl, take my hand I'm feeling notorious Baby, give me one more chance Baby, give me one more chance And tell me, can I be your man? Tell me, can I be your man? Oh, I can give the best I can I'ma do the best I can Girl, I need you back Why you do me like that? Why you do me like that? Give me And do you hear what I'm saying? Girl, I ain't playing Girl, I ain't playing Come on, come on One more chance I need one more chance Baby, give me one more chance Give me one more chance And Give me one more chance Come on, baby, won't you give me And Give me one more chance Give me one more chance Baby one more, give me one more, one more, baby, come on, come on, one more chance, one more chance, baby, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance. Why you left me out here all alone? I don't know how y'all find me, but no surprise, tapped in live. Jasper, damn. All right, so what's good, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Montana, and we back again for another episode of Tapped In Live. Now, I'm going to be honest. This one right here is real special for me because when I came in the game as a DJ about 10 years ago, this was one of the very first artists that I really just locked in with, man. So to still see him, you know, standing here and grinding 10 years later and truthfully on another level at this point, man, it's good to see <laughs> my boy Country, the 843, is hey, in the man, building. It's still going. Shout out to the 864. I love Upstate, DJ Montana. Like you said, we've been rocking for a while now and it's still to still be going amongst everybody and still to be mentioned and considered is, is grateful. You know what I'm saying? What's poppin', man? How you doing? I'm tapped in, twin. I hey, tapped no count. You know we had to get you on the show, my brother. Everything is good, though. Okay. Real okay. quick, man, let's talk about your hometown, Charleston, Hilton Head, 843. Charleston, shout out to first and foremost, RP Miss Cash, 151 Gordon Street. Shout out to all the cash out there. That's where I was born. I love the city of Charleston. Raised in Hilton Head, Bluffton area. That's where the name Low Country came from. And um, a little bit of Savannah area, too. My my father them from Savannah, so I got a little bit of the... the uh, the, the coastal empire. I got a little bit of the historical Charleston in me. I got some some low country, some real low country. Got that exit eight, the exit thirty three in me too. So 
you know, we, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a melting pot, you know, of everything. Okay, so the how? Let's talk about the how, man. What you got going oh, man. on? It goes back to the heat of the night. Mm-hmm. You know, we started with that. That was really just, it. Just came with the uniform because I got we came with the wolf suit, and I was like, you know, we were making music that fit that. Let me get in character, and they so happened to to be totally intrigued by the character, and it fits in the category of doing what Cats is not doing. Shout out to Eddie Murphy in the movie Dolomite, who solidified it that. We got to create something to give folks an experience. That's what it all is. It's a conversation starter. You might think it is. You might think it's not. But it all ties back into giving folks some kind of experience. You're going to remember me when you see me. So it's like that's what it's all about. Okay, bet. And so you also said it, it takes you back to that time, the heat um, the, the heat, heat of the night. heat of the night. We called, actually the, the, we, we, we called it Trap Disco, and they said they, they coined it. Charleston City Papers said we alternative. I'm the king of trap disco. We giving folks an experience who never got to to experience uh, disco, and some folks who never get to experience the trap. So you bring them both together. It's all about feeling good, partying. You know what I'm saying? A good trap. You know what I'm saying? So, and we want you to get trapped in that, get lost in the soul of all of that goodness going on. Let's talk about you know how we said you've been in the game ten years now. Let's talk about <laughs> where you were ten years ago, mentally, musically, all of that. Let's talk I, about that growth process. We, we telling our age right now, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's all good, man. Cause like we, we, I'm, I'm only getting younger, and we getting finer. Like to, to, to ten years ago, I was, I thought I was doing it big back then. I thought I was doing real moves, but it was really all practice leading up to this moment right here. And right now is more practice to what to come. But um, you know, from from shooting videos to other folks, I own a production company. Started that to help fund. My music career, I got to, I got to pay for it. You got to have a budget for this. So, to still be going in and and to know that it's been a journey, and you know, and to see that we still scratching the surface, we still more work to do. Is is discouraging as it may be to some folks. Is you got to look at it like, man, I could have been gave up, and you know, I, I, I'm, it's just, it's, it's, it's better to have anything going on than nothing. So you know, that's what it's really. That's how I look at it too. It's still. I would, I would literally would lose my mind if I wasn't doing this. Like if I wasn't doing something, something catering to this. That's, that's where the motion comes from. You know, you know, staying out of that, that whatever place you in is just finding motion in your art and goddamn sticking to it. And you definitely having a lot of motion right now oh, to the man. point where oh. you're catching the attention of a lot of people. Hey man, I'm glad to hear that, man. That makes it even more, more. That's 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 more gas in, in the tank for me. Like the art right, is, it, we we doing something, so let's keep it going. So let's talk about working with the name of uh, people like names DJ Issa. DJ Issa Street is it like the funny the story the story behind that was shout out to my engineer when he first moved to Atlanta um I saw Street is was looking for an engineer so I sent him the post he applied we got locked in a couple months later me just being around um and me having videographer experience I got to go on tour on the Pretty Girl Like Trap Music tour with Two Chains as Schoolies videographer and I was his videographer maybe about a year, maybe a year to two. So we built that relationship outside of that. And for me to still be able to call on them outside of that, you know what I'm saying, when it's my turn, and that's just greatness as well. That always goes back to relationships, keeping your face clean, and, you know, doing the work, you know what I'm saying, because they wouldn't be ex- accepting and accessible if I didn't put the work in. And that's love, too, because you said you started off kind of doing camera work for them, but now you're doing music, and they still showing you that same love. Because hey, a, a lot of cats, they'll be like, oh, well, he was just doing camera camera work a year ago, but now he a rapper? Oh, okay, keep it moving. I ain't gonna lie. That's the balance of it. It's like I had to stop showing that. I still do. I ain't gonna lie. I got a wedding to shoot, and a couple, somebody hit me the other day. But it's the balance of showing that. I don't even I don't even introduce him in that. It's almost like what Jeezy said off his interview recently. He had a restaurant. Once folks find out he owned it, then the value of it went down. So it's like right. keep your, keep everything separate. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it's easy. You can have a whole nine to five, but it's like you got to find that balance because you you got to look at it like you wouldn't take an artist serious. Like you would just like you said such and such. So you finding the balance in that. And from that relationship, I even got a, a feature out of Skate. You know, we worked out a, a couple songs, so that was a, a greatness thing too. But it was just finding the balance in that. Like not not um. Pushing the I'm an artist too, you know what I'm saying? It's like let me I was sacrifice that, put that to the back burner. If that presents itself, it shall, but let me do this work first. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's how everything stayed together. Now I say your music is definitely original. Your energy is different. Yeah, yeah. Where would you say you get your inspiration from for your music? Mm, 
the universe. I'm starting to listen to the universe now. You know what I'm saying? Because really, when we go record, I don't really know. I don't come up with nothing until I hear the the production on the spot. Talk to my engineer management. Um, um, and you know, come from like the James Brown, the Andre 3000, Outkast. Stevie Wonders, Marvin Gaye's, a plethora, Tupac's. I was like, I got a little bit of everything from up north, down south, Midwest to the West Coast. So, And the inspiration definitely comes from doing something that folks is not doing. I got to stay, I got to, since, like you said, doing this in 2010, 2012, I got to reinvent myself. 2012 was LPK, then I went to Low Country. Now we dropped the low, now it's just country. So I just got to keep new discovery to keep folks in tune. You know what I mean? See, I love that you said that too. Do you feel like you might be a little ahead of your generation? Man, I be hating that because I be looking okay. at, I be looking at like, man, some of it might not stick, but I know it's hard. I know it's hot, but it's just like everybody can't see the vision, and but that comes with being a trailblazer. I got to sacrifice. So who knows down the line what might come from this? Who I inspired and who took from it, and you know what I'm saying? Who sh- I, sh- I just want folks show folks like, man, it's cool to do something different. Ain't nothing wrong with that other thing. Everything going on. Like, I used to be a part of that, but even where it's at now, you got to dress it up. You got to present it to folks different because you're not, one, not supposed to be doing it, then projecting and telling folks all your business. So it's like, let me go left. Let me got, let me let me take the headache of, ah, uh, they might not understand it, but I still get to express how I want to, and, and that's the success of it, you know? And then when I hear that, another artist that I think of who was kind of in a similar place is Kanye West. You oh, know, man. bro was definitely man. ahead of his game. So I want to ask you, how do you keep going? Uh, uh, affirmations. I ask for the strength. I talk good to myself. I, I try to watch what I intake uh, verbally, physically, um, and what I'm eating and, and all that. And it's just, I got folks, I, I, I mean, like you said, we've been doing this so long, I'd be a fool to stop now. You know what I'm saying? I'd be a fool to stop. It's like even it's outside of no money or nothing like I put my all in this, my last dollar again and again, over and over. If it makes sense, it makes sense. Cause what else? What else is there to do than me to invest in myself? Especially when I figured it out. Like you know, I've been trying to do so much stuff for different soul. I was selling vending machines. I was doing all kind of stuff. I was a, a real hustler. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna figure it out. But let me lock in on what everybody else sees, and let me own that too. So you know, that's the base of that. Really stepping in and owning it and. Still having fun. Having and, fun. And the thing, looking at you, following you, I see that you really putting it all out there on the table. Like, yeah. one documentary you talked about how you had been up for, like, 26 hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> so, when we was, we was, um, I forgot where we went. We, that's when we went to go to record the graduation. We left. We, we he had, a, uh, speaking of everything, Street is at Grown had a session with Skate. They was going over some records. I got to be on top of that little private session to hear what he's going to select for his project. That's out now. Shout out to the boy with the bars. Um, and the next morning, we caught a flight to, where did we go? No, next morning, we went to DJ Eastside for um, something they had going. Actually, I shot a video. Then we went to Eastside. Then we went from North Carolina, drove to Miami. We caught a flight to Miami. And then we went to record the next project down in Miami. So it's like, man, hey, man. <laughs> you making it happen. You know what I'm saying? This, And I already know this only like level two. I still got a few levels I want to go. So I know. It's gonna even be more intense, you know what I'm saying? But not even intense. It's just asking more of me, and I only got to be in position to give it. You know what I'm saying? So real quick, I want you to give some advice to somebody who's, you know, they got a dream, they got a vision, but as you said, they may feel a little ahead of their time. How do you keep pushing? Like, give them some advice. Um, the advice is, as much as you may want the world, the world's favor of knowing your name and, and forever living on. It's like the foundation of it. You still taking from taking from what was here that was given to you. You made it a thing. You made it something that can, from here, you made it something that can be in your hand. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the, the greatest thing of it. And anything, anything else is extra, like for the, the accolades and the, you know, the, the extra, the, all the extra stuff is just really, you got to look at it as like extra because that's the biggest success of doing something that you love to do no matter if, thousand people heard or one person heard it you still got to create something and um you got to that that's what you got to be vulnerable you, you know you got to be all vulnerable we sign an unwritten contract when we get into this game like yo folks can say the the worst things or they can say the best things it doesn't even matter because long as they're saying something they're saying something that mean you wanted something in um have a budget 
put some paper up, really put some paper up, figure out where you're going to spend the paper, seek those who have done what you want to do, seek those who, are, um, you know, who got expertise in where you're trying to go, only a fool, invest in something he knows nothing about, and um, have fun. You know what I'm saying? Don't put no time frame or no time limit or nothing because, like I said, I don't know what this thing going to do. But when I look back, I can say I, I did it my way. I inspired my boys who were around me. I'm trying to give opportunity to those. So it's like, hey, man, that's what it is. All right. So from the heat of the night to the graduation. Okay. How did we get there? Um, It went from it went from a thought that was grown man's thought with the heat of the night. A, a whole sonically, the sound, sound, sound wave wise. He had a dream. He knew I can facilitate it. That's how we got there. And the graduation was, I always just wanted to give my experience going to an HBCU. I got this one picture of my mother holding her diploma, and I'm looking down at it. And in that same spot, I, I got to, I got to hold my diploma in the picture with her two graduating from the same college. So I found love. I was doing a whole nother different ball game back then, but I wanted to tie it in to where. It shows you can come from a small place to go to a big city and still figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You can get off track, back on track, off again. You still figure it out. That's how we got to the graduation. And it was, it was metaphorically like I graduated as an artist. You know what I'm saying? So we went from heat of the night to graduation. Now we about to go synchronic. Synchronic almost like euphoria, really getting lost, ecstasy, um, 2064, or, or like... 30, 20 or something. That's the year of it. Like flying, really flying cars and all that extra stuff. But still, still in tune with everything. You know what I'm saying? So when we get in that next project? Ah, uh, we, I ain't gonna lie. We st we just dropped, we just, we, st we, 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 we got some ways to go. We just dropped the graduation June 2nd. Um, won't be getting up for the One More Chance video. Then the You and Me video. That's a two in one video, you plus me. And then we got Take You Home. So that's July. We about to do July. No, I'm sorry. We in July. It's August, September. That might be coming, wrapping up 23, going into 24. We might do that, you know what I'm saying? Because we think six months ahead has been done, but I still got to spoon feed y'all to graduation. I got three more singles to drop plus videos and um, and the short film with that as well. 20-minute short film for the graduation, really explaining my HBCU experience. And uh, like I said, we got another three months of spoon feeding and programming. Then we're going to rinse and repeat, do it again. I'll be back here, let's say December, January, between December and February, the, the they roll out again. And in your campaign for the graduation is crazy. You all over the place. I've been seeing you moving from Cali, New York, Man. Miami. What's that motion been like? We Which just <laughs> shout out to the label SB Enterprise. Shout out to Mr. Turkovich. He see the vision. You know what I'm saying? He believed in it. You know what I'm saying? We we signed. I'm still independent, but we signed. We partnered. I put a partnership with some uh some gentlemen we met on tour. They liked what they saw. They, they were like, yo, what we need to do to fund it to keep it going, as long as it makes sense, it makes sense. They want to be involved, and they've been involved. So um, they've been setting up everything. Shot to my management engineer, Grown Mixed It, at Grown Mixed It, engineer of the stars and management of the stars, you know what I'm saying? So he's been setting everything up. And really, it's just been calling folks, man. Mm -hmm. he, he, and it, it's, and it's, it's speaking good to yourself and speaking things to existence because Grown said this is the year of performance. And I'll be damned at that. Excuse my language. And, I'll be, and I'll, be, I'll be appalled if that's not what we've been doing. So... We're going to keep talking this uh, next. We're going over, out the country. We're going international, wealthy international superstar. That's what I tell myself every morning. So that's what we on with it. we just calling folks, connecting dots. And if it's an opportunity to present itself, we come in to rock out and give an experience. And truly, it's that simple. That's that all simple. it is. It's just calling folks and, and emailing them and staying mm -hmm. and following up. And you'll be surprised at how many opportunities to present itself. It's just we've been doing everything in-house. Shout out to my team. Shout out to my uh, marketing team, management promotion team as well. Shout out to everybody. So it really just goes back to the network that I built over the years. Mm -hmm. That folks who know what I can do and know how I do it and they respect it and like they, they want to help. So that's all goes back into putting that time in, sticking to it, and building relationships. So let's talk about one more chance real quick. One Tell me about chance. that single because that one right there, man, is fire. Man, we just trying to get back to um feeling good, house mm -hmm. party, uh, like how your mom. We trying to tap into how your mom and them used to get down, and we trying to tap into how y'all get down and bridge the two. So it's really just for all my fellas. We asking for one more chance. We ain't afraid to say we love y'all and we messed up. So, and um, that's the next single we going. We gonna do a um a thousand dollar giveaway to the best fraternity with the best stroll. I like to do 500 to the best fraternity, 500 to the best band with the uh, uh, best rift or whatever, you know, they can come up with. 
we in the works with Benedict and shout to Mr. Johnson. Hopefully we can, not even hopefully, we going to get that in and bring that to life. But one more chance, man, that's what's up next. Uh, a bopper, shout to CJ, the DJ. They got it going crazy in Savannah too. So we connecting the dots. We're going from up top to down bottom and we're going to meet in the middle. <laughs> you know All right, bit, bit, bit. So this right here, I want to give a big shout out to my guy, Joey Lenz, man. Ah, <laughs> Joey, Joey, Charleston. Yeah, that my dog. Man, who comes up with the concept for your videos? Man, you, you shout out, I don't mean to toot the horn, but shout out to him. You looking at him. Me and my bubble grown. I might cook up with something. I delegate with him. And we come up with a treatment. We That's my biggest thing. I try to make working with me everything easy for everybody. So all you got to do is show up and film. You should have your treatment. You should have your shot selection with photographs in it. And it should have a time mapped out so we ain't out there just shooting willy-nilly. And, um, you know, we try to be his hands on everything. I'm a creative director. Like I said, I do video and audio production, so I got the vision. It's, it's not just limited to me. You can also book me in, in for creative direction as well. But um, we create everything, everything in-house, and we incorporate the directors as well. Shout out to Joey Lenz. Shout out to E Dollars. Them boys go real filthy out there in Charleston. <laughs> hey, man, you a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> so you go with your own concepts for your videos, too? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. hard. It's, it's like, like I say, we trying to we, it's, we trying to do what other folks don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you, if I wasn't doing that, I don't know what it would look like if I leave it in somebody else's hands. That's what I've learned most importantly on this whole tour and this whole journey from the heat of night to now. It's like folks would tell you, it take two weeks when I really can do it in two hours. You know what I'm saying? Be as hands on as you can until you you until you don't have to, until you don't have to. It should always be you want to, cause that way you you in control. And that's what my granddaddy told me. Always be in control is is more about drinking and liquor, but it's like all that like me being control of everything. So I know how to do it. I know how it should look and when it should be done. So. Don't give me no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Because it really shouldn't be the end. Though. Fast, fast. You know? Well, there it is, man. My boy Country from the 843 hey, in the building. Hey. You got any last shout-outs, any man, last words? shout-out to the 864 upstate, you know, Greenville, Spartanburg. You know, shout-out to y'all. Shout-out to Tapped In Live with my favorite Ken and Twin, DJ Montana, Hood Saviors. Shout-out to the Met 803. Shout-out to the 843. I love y'all. Country, superstar country now. I'm going by that. I don't mean to, I don't mean to pop it on y'all, but I got to pop it and talk it into existence. That's all I'm doing. I'm programming, programming so the universe can get on my frequency. So, you know what I'm saying? We going up, baby. International shot at my bubble grown. He couldn't be here today, but we leaving Greenville. We're going to go at this event in Columbia. What up? Well, there it is. Country, hood saviors, on demand, DJ Montana. We tapped in live. We're going.